Chemistry Lab has been developed to increase the understanding of principles and theories of chemistry. To obtain the most effective learning, students are expected to follow this instruction. Appointment. Sign in within 15 minutes after start the session. Students who fail to do so will not be allowed to attend their lab session. Quiz at the beginning of session. It takes about five minutes. Briefing and demonstration. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Perform the experiment and writing the report. Clean up the bench workspace and submit the report at about 30 minutes before the end of session. Score. Quiz. 30%, report 30%, and final exam 40%. It is important to note that, according to the university regulation, students who miss more than two lab sessions with a reasonable circumstance will be graded FA, and students who miss the final examination will be graded FE. Chemistry Laboratory is a place to do experiment and learn, not play. You must take responsibility for your own personal safety and that of people working near you. The following are some safety rules in the lab. Study your lab activity before you come to the lab. Be on time when the session begins. Long hair should be tied back to reduce the possibility of each catching fire or dipping into the solution. Wear appropriate shoes that cover the feet at all times. Handle chemicals carefully. Check the labels of all bottles before removing the contents. Wash your hands before leaving the lab. If an injury occurs, report it immediately to the instructor. What not to do in the lab? No play, no eating, drinking and smoking in the lab. Sanders, Open toe shoes and high heels are not permitted in the lab. Cell phones should not be used while working and never test any chemical substance. Here basic equipment in the lab. Beaker, aluminum flask, test tube, graduated cylinder, volumetric flask, pipette, burette, beaker tongue, Flax tongue, wooden test tube clamp, test tube rack, funnel, forcep, wash glass, dropper, spatula, o ring, pretty dish, wash bottle, pipette bulk, electric balance, Build red clamp and stand. Graded cylinders are a simple way to measure liquid volumes. They come in different sizes. To read the volume from the graded cylinder, you need to observe at the meniscus, which is the concave surface of the liquid. Read at the bottom of the meniscus. To avoid error, your eye should be at the same level as meniscus when reading. Pipette is used to transport a measure volume of liquid. They come in different size and designs with different levels of accuracy and precision. Volumetric pipette or bulb pipette are used to deliver one fixed volume. They have a large bulb with a long narrow portion above with a single mark as it is carbated for a single volume. They allow the user to measure a volume of solution extremely accurately. Graduated pipette is used to deliver various volume with a single pipette. They have wide neck with scales. They are less accuracy than the volumetic pipette. Handling pipette must be done with a rubber belt. Never pipette by mouth. Plastic tip may be required to help pipetting. To use the pipette, squeeze the rubber ball to remove the air inside. 
place the rubber bow on the top of the pipette. Good seal can be made if the pipette and the bow are pushed up against each other. And gently release the bow. Liquid should be drawn up into the pipette. Allow the liquid to rise above the desired mark on the pipette. Quickly remove the bow from the pipette and cover the opening with your right index finger. Remove the pipette from the liquid and wipe any droplets of the size of the pipette. Gently release the seal by releasing the pressure of your finger and allow the liquid to drain until the liquid level reaches the desired mark. To transfer the liquid, place the tip of the pipette into the receiving container and remove your finger to allow the liquid to drain. Is a scale cylindrical tube attached to the stopcock. It is designed to dispense or transfer a precisely measured volume of liquid to another container, and they normally use in titration technique. Billet are mounted vertically by billet clamp to the stand. Let's have a close look at the scale on the billet. Unlike rather cylinder, scale of the billet starts from zero at the top and go to 50 at the bottom. So, reading of the volume must start from the top to the bottom. Before you use the billet, make sure it is clean. Also make sure the stopcock at the end is securely in place and closed before filling the liquid. To rinse billet, fill a small amount of liquid from the top of the billet with a funnel. Rinse inside the surface of the billet by turning the billet horizontally and rotating it. Drain the rinse through the tip into the waste container by opening the stopcock. To set the billet, fill the liquid with a funnel to above the zero mark. Filling should be made below eye level. If air bubble is seen, remove it by opening the stopcock completely and letting some liquid drain. Fill up the liquid to the desired mark. Place the waste container under the tip of the billet just in case. If you don't know the volume to be transferred, for example in the case of titration, setting the level of liquid to zero mark is recommended. It is important to note that do not use over 50 ml of liquid in the billet. If you want more than 50 ml of liquid, refilling is required. To read the bill rate, read the volume from the bottom of the meniscus with eyes at the same level. Since the scale starts from 0 at the top and down to 50 at the bottom, so reading must start from top to the bottom. This is on the significant figures rule. Reading from the billet contains two decimal places. So, this reading is 15.45 ml, not 16.55 ml. Titration is a technique used to find out the concentration of sample solution. Important apparatus for titration Pipette Pipette bulb Aluminum flag Burette Stand and clamp Bigger Wash bottle Important chemicals in titration First one is sample solution called titran. A precise volume of titan is placed in aluminum flask by pipette. Second, indicator. Few drops are added in aluminum flask. And the third one is standard solution called titran, placed in burette. Prepare the billet by filling with the titran solution. 
take an initial volume reading and record it in your notebook. Prepare the solution to be analyzed by placing it in the clean aluminum flask. Add few drops of appropriate indicator into the flask and sever it. Place the flask under the tip of the burette. For right-handed person, hold the flask with the right hand and hold the stopcock of the burette with the left hand. Open the stopcock to deliver the titrant drop by drop and swirl the flask at all time. You will see the indicator change color when the titrant hit the solution in the flask, but the color change disappear upon stirring. During the titration, you may use a wash bottle to rinse inside the flask. As you approach the end point, you may need to add a partial drop of titrant into the flask until you see the color change and the color stay for at least 30 seconds. When you have reached the end point, read the final volume of the burette and record it in your notebook. Dropper is used to transfer small volumes of liquid. In the case of qualitative analysis, 20 drops are estimated to be 1 ml. To get the liquid, squeeze the rubber part, put it in the liquid and release the rubber part to suck the liquid into the dropper. Be careful, don't let the liquid get in the rubber. To deliver the liquid to another container, for example, test tube, point the tip of the dropper above the test tube and slowly squeeze out the drops. Make sure the tip does not touch inside the test tube. Lismat paper and pH paper. Place a piece of lismat paper or pH paper on a clean wash glass. Use a stirring rod to get a drop of tested solution on the end of rod. Touch the stirring rod to the paper. Do not put the paper directly into the tested solution. Observe the color change of the paper. In the case of litmus paper, if the red litmus turns blue, the tested solution is base. If the blue litmus turns red, the tetra solution is acid. In the case of pH paper, you need to check the color with the reference to get the actual pH value of the tetra solution. If you have more questions, please feel free to ask your instructor.